how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a bonus video that I don't know when I'm posting. I'm just filming bonus content now just for the heck of it. I thought it would be fun. I'm getting ready to film a couple videos today and I was like, I'm just gonna film getting ready and hang out with you and chat because that's always fun to do. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake. So I'm gonna start getting ready and we're just gonna talk about whatever. I literally have no idea what I wanna talk about with you yet. Also, Monday is yard work day for my apartment building. So sorry in advance if you can hear the yard work happening. I have waited for the last hour for them to be done, but they're definitely nowhere near done. Poor guys, I actually feel bad for them because it rained terribly this whole last week. And so there's a ton of trees that surround our whole apartment and our apartment is like covered, caked, caked with leaves everywhere. In fact, they're raking now because I can hear that. They were leaf blowing, now they're raking. <laughs> I normally would not film while they're doing this, which is why I am not filming like my main videos, but for a bonus video, you know, <laughs> we're just hanging out like friends, right? I feel like this foundation is getting thicker and thicker, and I know that I apply it very odd, like a moisturizer using my fingers, but maybe I should thin this out with a little something. So we are on day, oh gosh, let's see. We are almost at a month of isolation. In just a couple days, we will have hit one month of only going out of the house for essential errands slash curbside Chick-fil-A pickup, <laughs> which is insane. and. It's so, I don't know if anybody else is experiencing this, but it's so odd how like your whole concept of time changes when every day feels like it's the same. Like I think about things a month ago and I'm like, that could have either been last week or last year. And I really would believe either if you were to have told me that, which is the weird thing. Oh, speaking of time being so weird today, this morning was the first day it hasn't rained in a week. So I took Max on a nice little walk, which Poor guy, he hasn't been on a good walk in a week because it's been pouring. Actually comment down below, if you live in an apartment and if it's pouring, what do you do with your dog? We obviously take him out and try to like stand under a tree where it's not too terribly wet and let him do his business there, but we don't like walk him. And I don't know what the proper thing to do is. So you let me know what you do, but Nevertheless, today we took a walk. We actually walked for like two miles, which was great. I counted that as my workout, which I should probably be doing uh, a little more weight building to actually maintain the strength that I have worked so hard on at Orange Theory, but instead I've just been walking every single day. But we walked by True Food, which was the restaurant that I used to work at. And I had to look at my camera roll. I was like, how long ago did I quit that job? And I looked at my camera roll and it had only been five, almost six weeks ago that I had quit that job. And I really feel like that was six months ago, which is crazy. Also, this is such a bummer, but um, Brooke and I, I don't know if you know this, if you're new to watching me, Brooke and I both quit our jobs the exact same day. <laughs> to both be freelance full time. So he's a writer for a website called Dodgers Nation amongst a couple other websites. He's senior editor for Dodgers Nation. And I do this full time and social media for a couple companies. And we decided to like rip the bandage and quit our respective jobs the exact same day. And all of this stuff started happening with COVID. And of course, you know, like jobs are affected by that as are his and mine. I will say though, I opened up about my income taking a hit and so many of you were like, oh my gosh, we want to do anything to help. We're gonna start like rewatching your videos, playing the ads, and it has helped significantly. My income's not quite up to what it was before, but it like, it was doing a deep dive straight down day by day and it's starting to rise a little bit, which I super, super appreciate. Um, it's helping to negate some of the other job issues that we've been dealing with. So I love y'all and thank you. And you don't know how much that means to me. And it's just thanks to the intentionality of you deciding to watch my videos, watch my ads, and then dealing with me putting out all this extra content that you're actually watching. So thank you. But I'm sure you know all of the different what are they phrasing this? I guess, is it part of the stimulus package or is it part of the like SBA bill where now I started kind of playing around with contouring by the way, and I'm not very good at it, but it is kind of fun to try to figure out. And I still use my fingers for everything, but where freelance people, self-employed people can now qualify for financial aid, partial unemployment, whatever you want to call it, 
And so Brooke and I were like, wow, our income has been affected. Brooke's technically 1099, so I don't know. But we had my dad's accountant look into it for us and he said that y'all quit your jobs at the exact worst time because you've only been self-employed for like a month since this has been introduced as a bill. So you have not been self-employed long enough to prove your usual income and self-employment to then be able to qualify to get any sort of financial aid from this stimulus package, which sucks. <laughs> Obviously, everybody's getting the $1,200, I guess, return. Are they calling it a return? Because it's coming from the IRS, right? I'm so thankful for that. Obviously, that is almost rent for us for a month between the two of us, the $2,400, so that's huge, but I don't know, it's just so ironic in hindsight that if we had either quit our jobs sooner or held on a little longer, we would have been getting significant financial help from all these bills that they're passing. And we're like in the middle ground now where we don't apply for unemployment, but we also don't apply for the self-employed unemployment. You can tell that I obviously need help with the <laughs> terminology of all this. Yeah, so goes life. So goes life. I've talked about this in some vlogs, but Brooke recently got me a surprise quarantine gift of, I got him a Switch for Christmas this last year, and he got me Animal Crossings to play on his Switch. And it's so odd how the whole time you're playing this game, you're like, this game is so simple and so like mindless, but at the same time, you can't stop. And time moves so fast when you're playing it. Like the first day that I got it, it was a weekend. So I was like, I'm just gonna play this for like 30 minutes, see what I think. I looked up and it had been like four hours. And I was like, what the heck is this? Absolutely the most insane time warp. If any of you, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my mirror over here. This is not my usual makeup setup. So I'm like having to relearn how to do my makeup far away. But if any of you have Animal Crossing, I am at the point to where I have opened the museum. I gave him 15 different creatures or whatever. And I just found finally all the supplies to open the first store. Finding 30 iron nuggets was not easy, but no one told me that when you don't eat fruit, you can actually like farm iron out of the rocks so much easier instead of just hitting it once and it breaking open. That would have been very helpful to know. So I'm glad I know it now. And if you don't know that, don't eat fruit if you're trying to get like iron and gold and clay and all of that from the rocks because you won't break the rock. Instead, you'll just get like up to, one time I got like seven things out of one rock. That's where I am, is I have the museum, they're building the store, and I have upgraded my house to where I have one separate room now. Oh no, that's not the one I wanted. Shoot, that's the pigmented one. I filled in my eyebrows. So if anybody has any insider tips of anything, let's all help each other out down below. Like what are some things I wanted to know? Obviously I wanted to know where to find more iron because that took me two days. Oh, I just whacked my foot on a metal drawer. Ooh, cause that took me two days and four trips to other islands. Um, you know how you can redeem nuke miles and go visit other islands? and it's like 2,000 miles to visit. I think I went on four different trips to find all that iron. Give, give me any insider tips. I need help. I know how to do nothing. My friend Esther has it and she's like a pro and she has like visited my island and given me gifts and such and like tried to help me out and has been the biggest help, but it's also hilarious how little I know in comparison to everything she knows. <laughs> I am going in with a little bit of the Glossier Lid Star. I'm not really like talking through what I'm doing in my makeup because I am essentially doing the makeup routine that I had posted a couple weeks ago, my like everyday makeup. I can link that down below though in case you haven't seen it where I actually talk you through what I do every single day and I'm pretty much following it verbatim right now. I love cream eyeshadows though because it just looks so much more natural and it's yet another thing I can apply with my fingers. I use my fingers for everything. It's quite funny. But honestly, fingers are probably more sanitary than brushes because I apply my makeup right after I get out of the shower when my hands are completely clean and I'm terrible about remembering to clean my makeup brushes. Actually later this week, one of the videos that I think I'm gonna be filming is like deep cleaning my home because I did an organizing video recently and now I feel like I should do a cleaning video because also that's something that we probably all should be using this newfound time stuck at home to do. I mean, if you want to, if you're trying to find ways to be productive. And one of the things that I wrote down to do was clean my makeup brushes because I haven't done that in so long. I don't even know when 
probably been a couple months. I'm so sorry to admit that. But then again, I don't often use my makeup brushes for much. My camera battery just died and so I had to go get the other one that was charging in our kitchen and Brooke is on a Zoom call for work right now. And I don't know how many of you are living with like spouses or roommates and you're all trying to work from home, but it's so funny. It's so funny. Like never in my life would I think that I would have to be caught, I'm like wearing stuff under this, but still looks crazy that I'm in a robe and have to be conscious about walking behind my husband's meeting and all of his coworkers seeing me in a robe. Then again, here I am putting myself on the internet, but that's on my accord. You know, it's different when you're on, when it's on your accord versus when you're like in the background of someone else's video and people are like, does she not know? Let's see, any other life updates for y'all? Any updates about Max? He is getting more and more comfortable with everything, which is great. With his harness, with his leash, with his walks. He does less of the weird freak out, snarl, bite thing, which is good. But he's, it's so funny. He becomes a different person in the evening. He's like so quiet and chill during the day. And then as soon as the sun goes down, I don't know what happens, but he does this thing where he'll like nap, but then he'll wake up every 10 minutes or so. And he'll like, and then walk somewhere else and lay down and fall asleep for like 10 more minutes and then do it again. And he repeats it every 10 minutes for the whole night. And he sleeps during the day fine. Like he's a very nappy, sleepy dog. So part of me is like, maybe he's uncomfortable, but if he was uncomfortable, wouldn't he be doing that during the day too? I just, we, we can't figure it out. We can't, cause it's, if it was all the time, I'd be like, maybe he's just not used to the space yet. Maybe he is uncomfortable. Like maybe it's something medical. The fact that it, it's just when the sun goes down is the weirdest thing. So I don't know what that means. Maybe y'all have some guesses, but he's definitely funny. It's funny because we do our Bible study at 8 p.m. obviously after it's dark and it's on Zoom and we host it. So we're the only people not muted the whole time and the whole time Max is doing that thing every like 10 minutes. So we like with our feet, like trying to like pet him to like calm him down, like out of frame. <laughs> It's funny. He's a quirky, he's a, he's a quirky dog, but we love him. And with that, I am ready. Well, my face is. I gotta fix my hair and get some real outfits on and I will be filming for the rest of the day. So thank y'all for hanging out with me as I get ready and just chatting and catching up as friends do. I love you so much. I don't know when this is coming out, but um, I'm filming this on April 13th, if that's of any importance or not, I don't know. But I love you so much. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a normally scheduled video very soon. Bye.